Okay. Making a video here before and after. We'll also take some pictures. So these are things that we're gonna be, uh... oops, it's a little bit bright. Get that rust out of there from the bulbs. Clean up the battery. We're also gonna take the battery out and clean up down there. So it's clean down on the battery tray too. Because it's a little dirty down there. Back behind the hinges. Uh, the spring there, the dusty stuff. Back the hinges. Get all the stuff that's underneath here off of here. Clean up the engine block where we have that black stuff sticking out. Hoses. Frame rails where they're all chalky and dusty. Obviously things like the intake in here. Get this painted because it's just raw rusty right now. Again, down here by the hinges, all the frame rails. This truck has a really amazing potential because it's such good condition underneath the the dust and dirt that's here and, and rust maybe. This is gonna be an issue because this has been clear coated and since it's been clear coated, all of these spots where it's a clear coat failed are gonna polish up really, really bright brass. And unfortunately where the clear coat is, it's gonna be a, a warmer color and not so a light a color. So it won't exactly match, but it'll look better than what it looks like right now. Down in here, we're gonna get rid of the bugs and other stuff that's here. <clears throat> On the hood, paint job in general, this is a good place to see it. Um, let's see, you can see there's a lot of um, scratches and kind of hard water stains. Just needs a paint correction to get all this stuff out of here. You can see in these reflections how the, um, there's a lot of issues in the paint right now. Some of these are sand scratches and some of them are hard water. But get all that out. There's some stains and other things going on. Like right there in the middle. And here, we'll get rid of this dusty looking stuff. Dirty things like that. It's in really, really phenomenal condition, but it just needs, needs what we do. Let's get it looking sharp. You see on the sway bar back there them out and when a inspection service comes out they take pictures and they use flash photography so that's what I'm kind of simulating with the um, flashlight is kind of a flash photography look we'll get the tires back clean again it's really great shape it just needs TLC So the chrome is not perfect, as you can see on here. My camera focus here, let's see if we can focus. There we go. So the chrome is just got, is starting to go bad on it. So we'll try to get that back a little bit, even on the gas cap here. And here, it looks really, really nice also, of course. Uh, the rest of the truck. Um, things like getting the pedal pads clean so it doesn't have that dirty look in the cracks. Um, same thing on the pedal for the gas pedal. And then the arms here that are getting rusty. We paint those. The back of the arm for the throttle behind the pedal, we also paint that. This mat will go because it obviously doesn't go in the truck. That 
that's the uh, seat part right there. Get that taken care of. Paint that. Looks really good back here. Get that little ear that sticks out behind the cardboard. Get that looking a little nicer. <clears throat> Everything else looks really nice in here. Doesn't need any kind of restorative type of work on it. Some chips in the door jam. Some chalkiness back here, that black area. I just need some paint. Has some chips here. It can be touched up. Again, the same thing here with this kind of chalky look that's going on back here. You know, get that all cleaned up, clean up the muffler, frame rails, all of the kind of dirty stuff that's in here on this support for the bed. The strut that's right here. Repaint that. And just basically get all that chalky stuff off of the chassis back there. I know the camera's having a hard time focusing on it, but I think you get it. There we go. Tire looks really clean, really nice. Just frame rails and all of that usual hardware. Unfortunately, chains a little rust in here, so we'd probably cut that vinyl off and or slide it off and put a new one on here and try to get that chain not looking rusty with our chrome polish. Then just get in there in the tail lights, you know, to, to get um I wish the camera's focusing a little better here. Anyways, you can see that little hard water residue kind of chalkiness on the trim around the red light there and then polish out the plastic just to get it to pop again. Same thing down in here, this kind of chalky residue stuff that's in there. We get that out because that's just, that's just some chrome polish and to get that. So it doesn't have that chalky ring around it right in here where my fingernail is. Rest looks again the chain over here and get this chrome polished up just a bit. I definitely get the chain out of that tube. That's really nice. Um, there's a little defect over there and it's not a big deal. Oh, come on, camera, what is wrong with you? There we go. Um, just a little, some black stain bleaching into the wood a little bit. We'll try to get that out. <clears throat> then we have some little things that are need to be tidied up inside the bed and get this kind of stuff that's in the crack here let me get this down in here I think you see that little debris in here out of there and there's just a little chalky residue on the black paint that we gotta address so it's nice and black again, because it's got a nice coating in here. Again, the same thing with the door handle chrome, just try to get this a little bit more polished out because it's getting a little bit oxidized, you can see there. Chrome's failing just a wee bit. Get the rubber all dressed, again, in the cracks between the glass and the metal parts, so it doesn't look chalky in there the rubber's starting to get some cracks so we've got to put some silicone oil on here and make it look a little more uh, dressed a couple goofy things on the mirror that'll come off with the chrome polish and i'm assuming the same things over here in the wheel wells etc down on the motor mount where it's a little dusty down there get the camera focusing again that kind of thing throughout but underneath, the front end particularly. <clears throat> okay, let's get this. See a little bit of weeping. The engine's a little dirty up in the front of the motor. Some leaks here and there. Just get the chassis cleaned up because you know it's not quite 
ready for prime time and photography, you know, underneath here. Especially when we're gonna ask some top dollar for it, we need to make it a premium product. And you can see here, I, I took, wiped some of the grease off um, that is weeping from the boots from lubing the chassis. Just the generals, you see the, yeah, from lubing the chassis, it's got some grease that's squeezed out. Then the back of the rim, get that clean. And the back of the tire so it doesn't look kind of brown. You see the bump stop in the bottom of the control arm? Get all of that painted and looking good. Same thing here. Same thing everywhere. There's a lot to do. This is very, very complicated piece to clean and repaint, but for me, that's top dollar. We need to we need to get it something that looks a little better than this. The bottom line, disc brakes in the front, which is awesome. Nice sway bar here. Good um, bushings on the sway bars. We just gotta get it cleaned up. But the sheet metal is all good. We don't really have any rust or problems. It just needs paint and cleaning. Which is the usual of what we do. So this will take a little while to get the chassis done. But when we're done with this thing, it will be phenomenal. Because it's got great bones, as they say. You know, it's, it's in excellent condition. It just needs to be brought back to when it was restored and, and that kind of condition when it was first restored here and get some of the patina off of it. And it'll be an amazing truck again. Thanks for watching. Sorry it was a long video.